Virginia. Welcome to the first of many Fireside Chats. Fireside Chats. Where we bring casual technology conversations to you. With us today I have Dominic, the guy behind the guys, uh, Solutions Architect, CCIE Extraordinaire. Thanks for being with us, Dom. To my left, I've got uh, Chris Marshall here as well, Solutions Architect, CCIE as well. Uh, and we're talking today about SD-WAN, or IWAN, or Software Defined Networking, but mainly around the WAN. So Chris, what's SD-WAN? It's kind of that the aggregation of WAN bandwidth, uh, so pooling out our WAN resources, you know, rather than this kind of historically it's been that active passive kind of model. Um, it's really centralized uh, control and, and policy enforcement and, uh, and visibility into, uh, into what our traffic's doing and, uh, and where it's going. If, if I wanted to deploy SD-WAN, what would be some of the things I would think about or why, why, you know, why would I do it? First of all, you know, look at you know where is my WAN today? Um, what am I doing with my WAN? Um, you know, if I have a single connection, I mean, is SD WAN right for me? It's not a fit for for all customers. And, and then I, you got to think about sort of the migration. Yeah, you know, I've decided that I'm going to go with an SD WAN solution. How do I get there? Right. Um, you know, we haven't said this, but you know, it is a proprietary solution. Um, so it, it's not something that's going to play nice with whatever your existing technology is. So you got to start thinking about you know backhauling traffic, transport sites, how long this migration is going to take place. Um, obviously there's, you know, there's a new set of skills to be learned as well, so there's that kind of training aspect. You made a great analogy around virtualization. You were, you were kind of explaining something around virtualization, how it's kind of like the, the same paradigm. Can you kind of go through Yeah, that? I mean, I think that's a good way, and that's kind of what I, you know, I say to customers as well. I mean, for me, this, this really helps on sort of visualizing, you know, what SD-WAN is and, and sort of where it fits in. And uh, a good analogy, was, you know, for me is, is that, you know, what we went through in the, uh, in the data center with, uh, with virtualization of our, our, our uh, you know, uh, server resources. So CPU, memory, um, you know, what the hypervisor brought to them. We could, all of a sudden we could pull these resources, you know, they separate devices, but we pull the memory across and then we kind of distribute it. For me, you know, SD-WAN does exactly the same thing, but with our WAN bandwidth. Um, so is this somewhat analogous if you think about the way that we got for, from point A to point B with without GPS in our cars? We knew one way to go. We didn't know traffic conditions. We just knew to get there, I had to take this path. And now with GPS, we get insight into uh, multiple options to get me from, from point A to point B and the most efficient option to get me from point A to point B. Is that somewhat what we're talking about here? I, I like it. I think we should brand that the the GPS for your network, SD-WAN. Yeah, all right. I like it. Yeah, I think, I mean, certainly the visibility aspect, you know, which we didn't have before, that we've now got some insight into, you know, and in SD-WAN's case, that the packet loss, the latency, the jitter on this particular path. I think where it steps away from you know, your analogy there of the GPS. So, so that's the most efficient path, and maybe I want my voice traffic to take that. But it also maps out the inefficient paths, and, and we want to still utilize them. So yeah, this is not the best path, but I can send my backup traffic or you know, my, kind of my file system traffic. I, I still want to utilize that bandwidth. It, it's not the path that I would want to send. Sometimes I think Google Maps does that to me. Yeah. <laughs> well, cool. So, so key features, I think what I heard is policy control, QoS, uh, accel uh, acceleration can be in there, and caching, um, link aggregation. So if I'm a customer and I'm, I'm thinking, hey, I want to deploy SD-WAN, uh, you know, what what are some of the things I should think about? Yeah, SD-WAN gets thrown around a lot. You know, what, what, what do you want from SD-WAN? I mean, so I think that's kind of, I want to pull my bandwidth. I think you want to think about, uh, you know, where is my business today? You know. What am I utilizing my, my WAN for? Where am I going? So, you know, there's, there's a big push to the cloud, AWS, Azure, and then we have the SaaS offerings as well. Do I have my own data center? Is that the model? Um, you know, do I have any security regulation requirements that I have to meet? So, so every company is, is unique in that sense. So first, I think the first thing before just, you know, deploying SD-WAN is to think about, okay, where, where is my business today? You know, and where, what's the, the, the direction? Are we moving to the cloud? Are we staying on-prem? Once you've answered those questions, it's easier to then align a vendor. What, what are some of the pitfalls? I mean, what are some of the challenges that, that customers that we're seeing out there that, that are, are facing going, 
you know, maybe maybe it's a you know executive play where where corporate uh, the corporate execs are saying, hey, I've heard about this SD WAN. I heard it. It's software defined. Uh, we need it. And in some cases, does everybody need it? I think I think the, to, 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 to the guy behind the guy. <laughs> Well, you know, I think if you need, if you, when you're asking it yourself if you need it, you need to determine, you know, do one, do I have or do I need multiple um, connections to my locations, okay. right? So, do I need redundancy? It is your first first question. Um, if the answer to that question is yes, then I would say you need something like SD WAN. Otherwise, you're going to have your traditional WAN doing an active link and a passive link. So you're going to be paying for this second connection, whatever it is, a second MPLS link, a second internet link, and you're not going to use it unless you implement an SD-WAN solution on it. So I think the return on investment for the business is worth it alone at the point that you've got multiple connections going into your, your locations. Well, with that, uh, future predictions, what, what do you, where do you think this is going? Chris, Dom, you guys want to chime in on that? Uh, I guess, I mean, for me, I feel like, you know, looking at the industry now, I mean, Gartner had reports, and this is a big industry, this is, you know, it's a lot of companies are obviously very excited about this, um, you know, a lot of potential for, uh, for return on investment, and, you know, that return on investment in a very short time frame, so, so I think that's what's driving a lot of people to SD-WAN, now, with that, we've seen a lot of vendors, you know, appear in the market, a lot of, a lot of startups, uh, obviously the incumbents are still there, um, I think that, my prediction for, for 2017 and, and the coming years is going to be we're going to see a consolidation of those vendors. I think we'll see there's some incumbents today that, that, that don't have a play, so maybe the Junipers, the Aristas of this world. I could see them acquiring maybe one of the, uh, the, the startups. Um, I also see that some of, the, uh, some of the smaller players will fall away. Yeah, and I think everything you said is true. We're going to see a lot of consolidation um, in the market. But I think the, the key thing to keep in mind is that this, this is a technology that's going to be here to stay. Software defined land is not going away. It's, it's not going to be something that you're going to regret implementing a, a few years down the road. There's going to be continued improvement to it, um, and, and it's a technology worth investing in. Awesome. So, uh, Chris, thanks for being, being here today and Anytime, sharing, yeah. share, sharing with us all your expertise. And, Dom, appreciate, appreciate you coming on. SD WAN. Several things that it can do, policy enforcement, the policy control use of multiple paths, uh, acceleration, um, caching, and uh, also uh, zero touch provisioning, so the ease of rolling this out. Uh, if visibility is another thing, and like Dom said, it's going to be around for a while. So uh, looking forward to the next Fireside Chat. We'll see you soon. If you have questions, suggestions, or even future topics, you could email us at firesidechats at lookingpoint.com.